Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ball Fake Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and support our new movement by putting Let's Go Viral in the comment section. But if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating and a nice review. But without further ado, here are your hosts, Nicely Chunk of Benny and Greg King. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another quick NBA update video here on the Ball Fake Podcast, members of the Off The Ball Network. And today's video is gonna be servicing around the Chicago Bulls starting point guard, Lonzo Ball. Now, many of you already know and under the impression that Lonzo Ball suffered a small meniscus tear in his left knee back in late January of 2022. The Bulls starting point guard since then has participated in non-contact individual drills as of Sunday, reported by Casey Johnson of NBC Sports Chicago. Although he's recently partaking in minor drills as of late, Lonzo still hasn't been granted access to full contact practices just yet by the medical staff here in Chicago. The 24-year-old still hasn't fully recovered from the arthroscopic surgical procedure he underwent in January to repair his meniscus tear located in his left knee. Now, given this isn't the first time Lonzo has suffered from an injury to his meniscus as he experienced a meniscus tear in 2018 during his tenure with the Los Angeles Lakers, he was already familiar with the repercussions that came along with this type of injury. With all that being said, the previous expected time frame for Ball's absence was an estimated six to eight weeks, but given the status of Zoe's health currently, it's been noted that he may be eligible to participate in full contact practices in as soon as a week or more from now. This assumption certainly should bring a high volume of optimism as the Bulls have not looked as dominant in their most recent games. The Bulls are currently in the midst of a five game losing streak. They've obtained a five and five record in their last 10 matchups. And just to put the icing on the cake, the Bulls have gone 0-14 in games against the top three seeds in the NBA this season. Now, it's quite apparent that Chicago could use the services of their cherishable asset in Lonzo Ball, who contributes to their spacing, pace, and undersized defensive system, but his absence has brought a little bit of optimism in correlation to Kobe White and A.O. Densomo's growth as they've taken on a bigger role and displayed their true value to the team. Nonetheless, Lonzo Ball should be expected to make his return before the start of the postseason as the Chicago Bulls look to make a memorial run with the contributions of Lonzo Ball, their most decorated outside shooter, and the rest of the Windy City Assassins. But hey, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation here in the comments section. What is Lonzo Ball going to look like when he makes his return here with the Chicago Bulls? And how far can the Chicago Bulls go in the postseason this year? Please let me know that in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video with me here on the Ball Fake Podcast. If you're new to our YouTube channel or listening to Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notification. And we greatly appreciate it. It's your boy, Nasi Chunga Benny. You're listening to the Ball Fake Podcast. And we out.